Hello everybody. In this video, we will discuss about the concept of checkpoints in transaction record. A checkpoint declares a point before which the database is said to be in consistent state and all the transactions happened were committed. A checkpoint is said to be a mechanism where all the previous log records are removed from the system and they are written to the storage disk permanently. During the point of recovery, we need to consider only the most recent transactions that started before the checkpoint and the transactions that, that is following it. Now, we'll discuss about the checkpoint and uh, the point of recovery from checkpoint by using this diagram. Here in this diagram mentioned two points that is TC and TF. TC indicates a checkpoint and TF indicates a point of transaction failure. So, what is done here is T1 is already completed before the checkpoint. So, it is understood that all the transactions that is completing before the checkpoint it is committed and all the log records are already written to the disk permanently. So during recovery, what is required? You have to consider only the most recent transaction. Most recent transaction that started before the checkpoint. So here such a transaction is most recent transaction that started before the checkpoint is T2 and the transaction that started after T2. These are the uh, transactions that we have to recover. Okay, so nothing to do with the T1. T1 can be ignored because it is T1. The fate of the transactions are T1, T2, T3 and T4, we are writing now. So T1 can be ignored. Why so? Why it is ignored? Because all the updates, it is uh, done completely before the checkpoint, it is completed. Before the creation of checkpoint, the T1 has completed. Okay, so till checkpoint, all the log records would have been written to the disk permanently. So, nothing to do with the T1, simply ignore it because all its updates are already written. Updates are already written to the disk. Okay. What about T2? T2 and T3. We have to check whether it have to be uh, the operation have to be Proceed to writing to the disk or you have to undo it. Okay, so TF is a point of failure. So before the point of failure, T2 and T3 have completed. Okay, so the operation that have to be done to be done with the T2 and T3 is redo. So what is redo? All the contents that is present in the log should have to be written to the disk permanently. Okay, move forward and write all the log records to the disk of the transaction T2 and T3 because this T2 and T3 have completed before the transaction failure occurred. This is a point where the transaction got failed, right? Before this point, T2 and T3 completed. Okay, so no danger. T2 and T3 can be read. That is the log records can be written permanently to the disk. And what about T4, the transaction T4, the transaction T4, during the execution of T4, T4 is not yet completed, while T4 is partially executing, the system got failed. So what we have to do during transaction failure, what is the operation that have to be done is undo the operations of T4, that is undo all the changes that is done by the transaction T4 or the database items. Okay, 
So this is how uh, the checkpoints are used in transaction recovery. Hope you understood the concept. Thanks for watching.